Everyone, you need to watch this entire video. This is gonna blow your mind. But before we get into it, before we get into it, I got some massive news that is so exciting, so amazing, that honestly, Pars and Rivals, the amazing deck I'm about to show. Who loves Legos? There's gonna be a very first link down in the description below. If you guys want to see an official Yu-Gi-Oh! themed Lego with incredible Legos like this, you got Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, all these amazing Lego ideas, this could get so many famous celebrities in the game, it would be massive for the game to have an official Yu-Gi-Oh! themed Lego. All you gotta do is go click the link in the description below, the very first one, and just sign up for the petition. Is sign up for an account and just click sign. That's it. So easy. So before you get into this video, make sure to go down the description below, sign up, click that button, and make it so we can get an official Yu-Gi-Oh! themed Lego, which in my opinion would be absolutely broken, and I would be the very first one to buy it. And with that being said, let's go. It's time now to show you guys the craziest pendulum deck you guys have ever seen. I am still absolutely in shock how good this deck is. Uh, let's get straight into it. This mat literally just blew my mind. We've destroyed so many people with it live. We've done combo tutorials. It never bricks. It is absolutely insane. Plays through a thousand hand traps. Let's begin. Before we do, I want to give a massive shout out to my playmat on shriftgaming.com. Make sure to get yours right now. I think I see it in the corner over there. Over there. Over there. Get it right now on shriftgaming.com. Absolutely beautiful. Also, big shout out to Twitch. Make sure to go check me out on www. Your mom, uh, I'm live over there right now, so go check that out, and let's get started on the best deck of all time. Let's go. So now I'm going to show you guys the very first replay, and I know what you're thinking. Yes, this is the real Moist Critical. Not really. He's fake. He's a clone. But all clones are going to catch the same L. And I know what else you're thinking. Damn, Triff, I love your body. So do I. It was a total accident why I put it there. Uh, complete accident, obviously. Uh, now let's go look at my beautiful beard instead. So with that being said, I'll be showing you guys four different duels. Four matches in one video. Four matches in one video. Also, I'll be showcasing you guys two combo tutorials and the deck profile. Make sure to stay tuned until the very end to witness everything. Don't skip or else you suck. Watch everything. Let's go. So, first things first. Uh, you guys are going to look at my hand over here. I'm going to be drawing... The most beautiful hand in the existence of history. So the reason why this deck is so broken. And yes, it is Zephra, Magician, Sword Soul. Absolutely wild. Believe me, it just works incredible together. The fact that all the levels are level 4 and level 6. That the fact that they're tuners and non-tuners. They just synergize so insanely together. And it's a reason why we're almost a 1,000 rating now. And like 10 wins and 1 loss with this deck. It is absolutely broken. So just witness everything. And you're going to see for yourself. And there's like 50 starters in the deck. There's literally 50. Have you ever seen a deck with 50 starters? Have you ever seen a deck with 50 starters? The only deck I've ever seen with 50 starters is the ones on TriffGaming.com. Go buy it now. All right, let's begin. Okay, so he's going to start with Fusion Destiny, the Charlie clone. And he's playing the most Chad deck of all time. And that is uh, Satellar Knight DPE. So we're going to have to deal here with an Imprim Drop with Strike and DPE. But it's all good because our hand is absolutely broken. Let's do it. So here we're going to start off with Ecclesia. And as you see, our hand's like absolutely wild. We literally have 50 starters. It's insane. We have 50 starters and we drew six of them. <laughs> like that's not, there's just so many. I'm not capping. There's literally 50. 5-0. So here we're going to start off with Moye. I'm trying to bait some hand traps. Here he's thinking that he's facing off against Sword Soul. Now this is a massive advantage when playing this deck. So now that we go Moye, he instantly thinks, oh, this guy probably has one more Taiye and he's, this turn's done for good. Or a Long Yuan, his turn's done. Well, he's going to hand trap this right away. Or he's going to imperm this right away. I'm like, all right, great. All right, one card done. All right, sure. Now three to go. We go Zephyrath here. We're going to go Zephyr Nui, Pen Call. We look at all these cards in our hand. We, we have so many plays, it's insane. We go to Zyrus just to see what we're going to draw. We're going to get Long Yuan. We're going to start off with Long Yuan right away. I assume a Droplets. So I go Long Yuan and he goes DPE right away to pop the token. That's a good play on his end. So here what we're going to do is we're going to Normal Summon Harmonizing Magician. Then we're going to go into Moi. With those two, Moi, we're going to go Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber is going to bring out a level 1. And then when the level 1 comes out, it's going to bring out Tuning Magician or Lamia. That's right. We play DDDs in this deck as well. Just when you thought the deck couldn't get more based, you were wrong. <laughs> it's the most base deck of all time. 
Look at the synergy. Like, the tuners you also have are level 1 and 6 that go into Yazi. So, here, if Needle Fiber resolves, he loses because we're going to bring out Lamia. And then Lamia and Long Yuan will go into Yazi, popping a back row, bringing out Taiye. It just goes on forever. And we didn't even pendulum summon yet to bring out Zephyr Nui and the Harmonizing Magician. Like, we didn't even start our combos yet. That's the beauty of this deck. So, there he's going to drop Blitz, which was kind of expected. Now, at this point, we only have one more back row left. He had a strike, which is so unfortunate. We kind of had to hope it was an Imperm or, like, a Cosmic or, like, any other interruption. Like, Ash. Like, any other interruption in the planet. So, here, at this point, I'm going to Pendulum Summon 2. Look, if this is Imperm, we win the duel. Who plays Strike in the main deck, bro? That's absolutely so insane. It's like people playing this just to stop the best deck in the planet. It's actually so unfortunate. But, it, look, if this is Imperm, you can stop whatever you want. You get OTK'd. Harmo, like, like, just wild. It's so unfortunate, dude. And on top of that, ha ha uh, Fibrax and Harmo, Selene can bring out Ecclesia if we really want to. Ecclesia and Zephyr Nui can go into Baron. We can do so many cool plays. Sadly, we get striked. So, we played through so many interruptions, but if that strike was Imperm, we literally won the duel. Absolutely insane. Now, because of him drawing two of DPE, he was able to play through this, and he's going to end up taking game number one. But that's all good, because you gotta, guys got, got to really understand, Okay. No one's put like pendulum is not playing through strike plus four interruptions But if that strike was an imperm we we otk through four interruptions and put up five negates That's all good. So here we're gonna go on to game number two over here. So game number two. He has no chance He has no we don't even have a good hand This is like like if you look at this hand we drew three non-starters, but three starters. That's fine We play 50 starters. We drew three That's this is not even considered a good hand and we're still we still are going to go off So I understand that as, if he cannot dpe he cannot play properly so we we summon Protoss out here ASAP. We set these up in hand. If I really wanted to, I could have used Shi Shao. This is where you can see how crazy the synergy is. Shi Shao could have searched me any Zephyr card I wanted because they're worms. So Emergence could have searched me the level one Zephyr Nui, uh, Zephyraxi or or Zephyr Nui. I could have easily do that, but I didn't need it because I knew Protoss was gonna stop him because we had a, a way to stop his cards. So here we're gonna stop that with Shi Shao. Uh, we're gonna banish the Emergence. And there's just nothing you can do. He droplets. I'm like, sure. Blackout popped the other two. And he's up with a strike and a droplets. It just really doesn't matter. So at this point, it's going to be a pretty interesting duel. So I'm going to Protoss called Dark right away. I go Moye off the bat. I'm going to put these two into the back. See, he's going to strike the summon. I'm like, this is fine. Look at this sick play. We're going to Pendulum Zephyr Nui. Uh, get, and then look, remember I told you guys the synergy is amazing on this deck. She shall banish Blackout from the graveyard. Bring out a level 4 token tuner. And bring those two into Baron. Absolutely insane absolutely insane and we still have Z divine strike like th the synergy is insane like this deck was meant to be played together i don't know why i don't know how it was just meant to be played together here my opponent is going to set two traps and he has two ashen hand i instantly know they're solemns i know they're solemns so i'm going to play this very 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 carefully the dd is also such low scales the uh, beauty of this deck every zephyr card searches a low scale or high scale Moye searches a low scale or high scale because that's what Shi Shao does. Pen Call searches low scale or high scale. DD searches low scale. Like they all search scales. That's the beauty of this deck. Uh, it, uh, that's why it synergizes amazing together. We go Needle Fiber. He's going to Ash a Needle Fiber. I know that he, he plays Strike, so I'm wary of the Strike. So I only Pendulum Summon two monsters. And because DD God is scale zero, you can also bring out a Kepler. And he's going to Strike the Summon as expected this is fine this is fine i know we did nothing last turn we saved these cards we're playing around solemns so we're saving ecclesia and moye for our turn we're playing very well here he's gonna go into vega vega can i summon a vega at this point i assume he has a vega set uh at second ash and i thought he had a, a celestial or a dasher this is what i thought so here we're gonna start out we draw a dead lightning storm we go ecclesia and we're gonna go into selene the reason why is selene is gonna be able to bring out the ecclesia from graveyard and we get a free selene free link three then he's going to Solemn Judgment. I'm like, damn, that's unfortunate. We summon, Pen Summon Moye to pop that. In retrospect, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I could have uh, Pen Summon Ecclesia uh, and Summon you Moye first, but it's okay. So he's going to set an Ash and another Solemn Judgment. We go Oracle of Zephyr. Oracle of Zephyr is going to get me Zephyr Nui. We're going to Pen Summon Zephyr Nui. And of course, it gets hit with the third Solemn. It's fine. We're still winning the duel, in my opinion. We're still winning the duel. He gets an Alpha. This is a clear Alpha because he's Normal Sons Vega with no effect. So we pop that. We go Emergence here, and I want you guys to see what this does. Look at look at these plays here. Look at these plays. Taie, Banish, bring out Token. Token, Moye, bring out Shisha. Look at this. This is going to go on forever now. This is literally going to go on forever. We're going to go Desires. We're going to draw. We're going to get Pen Call. 
Like the fact that you could pendulum summon, we didn't even pendulum summon yet. This is just so beautiful. The, like it, the synergy is just absolutely insane. And Harmo, White Wing, all these cards work together. Look at this. Timebreaker and Harmonizing go into Yazi. Yazi brings out the whole engine. Bring out Long Yuan if I want. Burn him for game. GG. We're going to go show another one. Now that you guys understand how this deck works, we're going to fast forward the entire rest of the way. This is going to be a pretty long, long video. Look at this. Five starters. Another trap deck. Another trap deck. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, we burn through trap decks like nothing. Like, how many decks you know? We just played through everything. And we're going to continue playing through everything. We played through three Solemns, bro. Like, this deck could do anything. We're going to be very careful. Look at this. Pen call Lamia. Look at the plus. Look at the cards in my hand. I'm going to clear his whole field without pen summoning. Like, that's wild. We're going to bring out Tuning. He's going to go Morella. I'm like, sure thing, dude. Santino Morella. He could do whatever he wants. I right, bring out Tuning. Johnny Chana. I'm going to bring out Axis Go Talker. He's going to do this right away. This is a cool little play that he does to make sure he doesn't get OTK. That's what Rise to Full Height does. So it protects his monsters. I'm going to go Axis Go to pop everything. I didn't even pen summon yet. Look, let's stop this for one second. I got rid of his entire field. And I have five cards in hand with Axis Code Talker. And, like, look at this. Draw with Souls. Absolutely wild. So, I understand the Mar I cannot attack the Morellas. And they're unaffected by monster effects. So, I'm just going to set up a fat board here. With by the, the re reason why we play a Timebreaker Magician is to have easy access to Yazi with Harmonizing Magician. Here, we're going to set up a board of Mascarena. Uh, bearing the floor i took up mascarena last second by the way but this was in the original build we're gonna let him do whatever he wants i got so many plays here it's insane so as you could tell we're gonna easily win this so we're just gonna fast forward the rest of the way with no stopping there's nothing this man can do there's really nothing you can do like this deck is insane it's really insane and look it's only insane because i play on a trip gaming play mat and i'm subscribed to myself so make sure to smash the subscribe button smash the like button and check out trip baby that's what the chat will want chat Chat, is that not what chat wants? Chat wants everyone right now to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, go to truthgaming.com. Let's go. Here, I'm going to set up massive boards, Appaloosa, Oath. I'm going to get massive plus. I'm going to let him do what he wants here because there's nothing he can do. He sets, and I know for a fact that this duel's over. There's really nothing that he could do whatsoever. Scoop it up while you can. White, look at that. White Wing and Zephyr Nui go into Cheng Ying. The two of these go into Savage Dragon. Look at the value of this deck. It is wild. I literally let that resolve. I don't care. Look at this shit. Like, look at this. It's insane. Look at the plus. I'm at 15 cards to his zero cards. I'm at his 15 cards to his zero cards. We're going to go into game number two now. I draw Lightning Storm, which is cool. I'm going to about to clap his shit up. He's going to cry. And I get hit with the card that... Why is this card even legal? I don't understand. How is this card even legal? But it's all good because... We don't cry out here. Pay taxes, please. Triple counting, bro. No way. We don't do that out here. So here he's going to bring out Morella. I'm like, no problem. Tribute summon Jackal. At this point, I have an opportunity. I could bring out Lamia with the effect of contract. I make Yazi to pop the Imperial Order. I didn't feel very safe to his traps. So I figured let's wait one turn. He's going to go Needle Bug Nest. I'm like, this is fine. I ain't scared. I ain't scared at all. Uh, so he's going to set a droll. I'm going to uh, go Lamia. I'm also going to summon Ecclesia. Lamia and Jackal go into Yazi. Yazi, he strikes the Yazi, but guess what? Thanks for putting Yazi in the graveyard, pal. Because now Ecclesia is going to be able to bring out Taiye. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Now that we have Taiye, Taiye effect is going to bring out uh, Baxia. He's not allowed to Ice Prison because Yazi's uh, summon was negated. Baxia, get rid of both Ice Prison and Imperial Order. And can someone please tell me the cards in my hand? I have pen calls that for Providence. GG, my guy. GG, that's how you play around. That's how you play around Imperial Order. We just played around Imperial Order, Solemn Strike, Canadia, Ice Prison, Double Solemn Strike, by the way. Oh my goodness, it's insane. And of course, you guys see that? Of course, of course, bro. Bring his Master Duel. Dueling Book Froze. Dueling Book Froze. What this is going to end up being here is a full board of Baron uh yeah like baron full combo i think i had she shall baron some crazy shit uh no I, I had divine strike and baron that was the play here with Celine bringing back ecclesia absolutely unfortunate that uh dueling books being dueling book so we're just gonna go out, go on to the next video the next replay but we clapped them up don't worry we clapped them up this is gonna be replay number three have i the pleasure to play with the pen god oh yes you do my friend uh but you are gonna get clapped so here, he's playing Shadals. This is a Super Poly and Ash and a Gamma. So just be wary of what he has. It looks small, but 
never underestimate Super Poly and Winda because you don't see the Winda coming. And because I did not know what he was playing, I thought this is a free dub. But because of Shadal, Super Poly, like, I did not expect that. And I mean, we summoned out the Lamia. And because we summoned out the Lamia, we are forced into not summoning. We normal summon and we're locked into special summoning. And so it's a little unfortunate. But that's all good because I have a big brain play. Zephyroth, send Zephyroth. Zephyr Providence, get Divine Strike. But then he ashes the Zephyr Providence, get the Divine Strike. But that's okay. I want you guys to see this duel. Look at this, okay? We're going to literally grind our way to victory. And this deck is so beautiful and grindy that it wins almost any grind game. Except against Eldritch. But it's because of the Eldritch play map. Triffkimmy.com.com. Okay, anyways. We're going to definitely stop the Shadal Beast. Not going to let that draw. He has another Super Poly, sadly. We're going to go Emergence here. All my idea, I want to set up a massive board. If we set up a massive board, we are okay. At this point as well, I probably... No, Lamy has 100 attack. Puri Raise Map, searching level 1 tuner would have been insane if we played 1 Effect Veiler. To Normal Summon, that and Zephyr Nui, but that's not going to work. We're going to let him pop the token... Go Elstradal Fusion, sadly, for a Construct. And I didn't know he had a Super Poly set. This is going to be very Sag for us. Sag, Kek, W, Pog, Poggers, Nodders. But it's all good. He's going to go Shadal Fusion because Zephyr Nui is someone from the extra deck. At this point, I know for a fact, I got to get Zephyr Nui out of there. Because he has a free card to summon with Shadal Fusion. I got to get rid of that. Super Poly gets rid of our souls. I was going to draw two. Sag. And now he's, we're going to bring out, he's going to go Shadal Core, Shadal Fusion, and Winda. So I got to get the Zephyr Nui out of here ASAP. So he's not able to Shadal Fusion from Exit deck. So at this point, I'm like, okay, it's all good. Let's just not give up. Let's just not give up. Summon Zephyr Axie to survive. Attack, protect. All right. I did. I said Poggers, Nodders. Uh, Protoss, we need this Protoss to summon ASAP. Piri Raisin Map was going to give me a way to summon out Protoss, but it just didn't work out because of yes. So here, we're going to attack. He's... Attack, attack. We're almost dead here. But we draw into Duelist Alliance. And at this point, I want you guys to see the most insane play ever. We're going to go Pen Call, Discard Protos, get Timebreaker, Magician. Remember why I play Timebreaker, Magician, guys? We play Timebreaker, Magician in order to play Yazi. Well, guess what? It also clears Winda. Look at this play. Normal Summon, get rid of Winda. Summons up Braxy and Harmonizing. Look at that play. Look at that play. Nice Winda. See you later, my guy. Summon Yazi with, with Zephraxi and White Wing. Ah, oh, this play is insane. Yazi Pop. Look, Yazi popped that. Summon Taiye. Oh my god. Beautiful. Actually insane. Banish. Bring that out. Shishao effect. Get Long Yuan. At this point, I want to OTK him. I don't want to give him a turn. I want to OTK. So the only way I can OTK here is for Souls to discard the Zephra. And I just felt it. Chat was bringing me on. So I was like, Souls discard Oracle Zephra. And we could draw any Zephra card, any Sword Soul card, any Worm card. And then we could trigger Long Yuan. And then we summon Baron and Axis Code Talker. That's the only way for OTK this turn. So I'm like, let's do it. There's like a 30% chance it'll happen, but I just felt lucky. But then, this the, uh, being the absolute clown that I am, I forgot that he had the trap in Graveyard to bring his card back to bounce Celine out of there. Mega Sag. But it's okay. It's all good. Because we still, despite that misplay, we never give up. We never give up, bro. We never give up. Timebreaker comes back as well as his window. Well, no problem. See you later, Winda. We're going to get that card out of there. We're going to summon out a Long Yuan ASAP. Bring out a Baron. Long Yuan burn for 1,200. I opt to not pen call because I know Baron on the field does a lot. I'm going to let the Sinister Shadow resolve. And then I'm going to enter Battle Attack. I'm going to negate his Trap card. And then I'm going to attack into the uh, Shadal Dragon on his standby phase. I'm going to bring out Shishao to negate his card. He has no play and should, uh, Shishao stops him. I brought out Baron because ba Baron would allow for his for his Shadal Fusion to trigger. But because I got rid of the Shadal Fusion, uh, because I got rid of Baron to my extra deck, now I have no more card from the summon from my extra deck because Shishao was summoned from the graveyard, not allowing Shadal Fusion to trigger. On my turn now, Timebreaker comes back. Timebreaker is going to banish his card. Pen Call is going to get Celestia and Harmo. I have no more targets for Harmo to summon. Banish that. Bring these two. Bring these three out. Bring a Savage Dragon. All under four. This is four summons. Let's go. Fucking insane. That was like a wild replay. If you guys really took it in. Here we're going to have to deal with Gamma, Nibiru, and uh, Shadal Fusion. But that's alright. Uh, we got Pure Ray's map. We're going to go into here. Uh, he's going to Gamma the Moye. No problemo. Zephrath. You bring this out. We got contract. We're going to go off here. But guess what? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this value, okay? We get absolutely insane value here. Needle fiber. We're about to go into Yazi. Look at this. And then he Nibiru is us. So sad, bro. Any other card in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Because Yazi cannot be targeted. So you cannot veil or imperm this Yazi. Actually, so 
unfortunate. And if you were to drop it to the Yazzie, we would enter battle phase and crash into the driver and bring out Taiye. So, actually so unlucky that he had the Nibiru. But it's all good. It is what it is. Because we have Zebra Providence to get Divine Strike. And we have a massive token. So, we're still good. Sadly, he also had, like, an absolute madman. Also, had an El Shadal Fusion with a Shadal Beast. I'm like, this is unlucky, dude. <laughs> this is actually unlucky. Uh, Outsacked. I was forced to stop this because he could just OTK uh, by entering Battle Phase. He's going to Construct, pop the token. This is fine. Piri Raise Map. Uh, we don't take damage because of the fact of DD God. We're going to go Piri Raise Map, add Kepler. We're in a great scenario. Kepler, and now, of course, the Mega Sack. Also, Hard Drew Shadal Shizm. What the heck, bro? What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Outsacked to the maximum level of humankind. And now we're just gonna get we're gonna lose that turn. That's alright. This is what game threes are for. To uh, if you lose one of the game one or two, which you rarely do, you just win the next ones. Look at this hand. This hand's not even like this hand's not that crazy. I want everyone to look at this hand right here, right now. This hand's not this hand's whatever. Every hand looks like this. We have two cards that are not starters. We have three starters and two random cards, right? Three starters and two random cards. I'm just going to fast forward the rest of the way. And I want you guys to see the board. He has Super Poly and Shadal Fusion. He could clear my board, right? He could clear my board, right? He has Super Poly and Shadal Fusion. Well, guess what? We protect, we're protected from Nibiru here. We're protected from Nibiru because we are bearing the floor out. So we're protected from Nibiru. We pen summon. Look at this board. I want everyone to look at this insane board. We're going to special out an Oath Dragon. We're going to add a Zephyr Providence. We're going to bring out Crocosaur. Okay. The fact that Crocosaur and Oracle of Zephyr get to uh, stack a card and draw, draw a card. So because a Zephyr was Synchro Summon, we get Souls. Crocosaur now and Harmonizer going to Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber is going to special out Tuning uh, DD Lamia. DD Lamia and Oath Dragon are going to go into Dragster. Souls is not going to come out. To bring out Jackal. Souls is going to discard the Oracle of Zephyr just to draw one card. Now we're going to go into Selene. Well, we'll add Divine Strike first. And I want everyone to ask me a question. Or actually, I want to ask you guys a question. What type is Incredible Ecclesia the Virtuous? It is Spellcaster, baby. Selene can summon out Ecclesia. So Selene is going to special Ecclesia from the hand. Because Selene can special from hand or grave. Bringing out Ecclesia. Ecclesia will then bring out Taiye. Taiye, we're still not done yet. Is going to bring out these two to bring Savage Dragon. And we're still not done yet, by the way. So on his turn, we got Shishao, Baron the Floor, Dragster, Savage Dragon, Divine Strike, and on top of that, Selene is going to bring Jackal on his turn. With enough counters to negate anything. We have six massive counters, massive PP monsters. Shishao, 2800, Baron, 3000, Dragster, 2000, Savage, 3000, 4000, Jackal, Selene, Full Scales, Divine Strike. It's insane. It's insane. He has Super Poly. He has no chance. He has no chance. He really has no chance. He sets a monster telling me he obviously has a way, has Super Poly. I'm like, that's fine. There's, what are you going to do? Super Poly, get rid of all my whole five monsters? No. Super Poly is going to get rid of one of my monsters. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. What, like, I don't care. You get rid of my Shisha? Oh, oh you're going to get rid of my Shisha? I don't give a fuck. What the heck? I don't, really don't care. Like, uh, he's going to bring out, yeah, and he, like, Look at this. He goes Construct. And actually, yeah, when, he's going to get rid of... Go Wendy if I Construct. If I, I'm like, sure, bro. I'll just negate one of them. Uh, sure. Bring out Shadal Dragon next. I'll negate that one too. If I want to pop Dragster, no problem. Slim bring out Jackal. No problem. Shadal Fusion, I'll negate that one. All right, sure. I'll negate that effect. Set two. Sure. <laughs> like, this man's had Super Poly and Shadal Fusion. And he had no fucking chance. No chance. No chance. No chance. Is it, is it Super Poly supposed to break boards? Is that Super Poly like an auto victory? Nah. Not even close. Now we're going to do some cool plays to pop all of his cards. We're going to go Axis Skull Talker. Pop that. Pop itself. Pop that. Just enter Battle Attack and negate the last one. Ha! <laughs> this deck's insane. This deck's insane. I'm going to show you guys one last replay now before we show you guys the comment tutorial. Let's get into the last replay. This is a very, very fun match to watch. Look at this, okay? Look at this. So, I go, Moye, reveal Protos. He's going to go into uh, Lancia here. Now, Lancia actually does affect this deck. It doesn't affect it a lot. Like, obviously, the Pendulum part's fine. But I can't Taiye, which was going to affect me a little later. So, we're going to go Shishao here. We're going to hit Long Yuan. We're going to go these. We're going to hit with Nibiru. We're going to hit with Nibiru. And I can't Protos, which is another massive part. So, I, I get hit with a Nibiru and Lancia. I'm like, all right. That's... 
That's all right. <laughs> That's okay. No problem, dude. Pen call effect. Pen call effect. We just got hit with double hand trap. Nib Lancia. We just got hit with double hand trap. It don't matter. It don't matter. Look at this. We got hit with double hand trap. We got hit with double hand trap. And we are good. Now, at this point, I make a massive misplay. I'll be the first to admit it. I make a massive misplay here. I completely forgot about Lancia. I completely forgot about Lancia. I'm trying to go Yazi, pop Nibiru, bring out Taiye, Taiye banish special. I can't because Lancia. I make a massive misplay. And because of that misplay, I can't do that. I can't summon, I can't use Taiye's effect. Huge misplay. Huge misplay. If I didn't do this, I would have had an extra negate. But that's all right. I'm going to go Appaloosa here. I can't win the token, so I go Mas Masquerina first. It was a huge misplay. What I was forced to do there, I should have gone Baron, Savage, Divine Strike. That And Baron, Pop is Nibiru. That was my play. I had Baron, Savage, Divine Strike, Token. Through Nib, Lancia. I had Baron, Savage, Divine Strike. And it's going to cost me. I add follow-up at end phase. It's going to cost me. Because he's playing Mech Knights. He's playing Mech Knights with the most random Solemn Strike in the main deck. Which is it's so weird. But anyways. So he's going to summon Mech Knight out. Instantly I'm like shit. He's going to defeat my Appaloosa. Unfortunate. I let him add. Because I know I'm going to negate the normal summon. And on his normal summon. I negate this instantly with Divine Strike. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Because we should have had a Savage Dragon. A Baron to Floor. And a Divine Strike. This game should have been ours. Through Nib Lancia. But I misplayed hard. So here I'm like this is, this is fine. We still win. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We still win. It doesn't matter. This deck is insane. Like, we still win, despite that fact. So here, we're going to go Oracle of Zephyra. We're going to end the Zephraxi. And now, look, Normal Summon Kepler. I'm going to get Contract. Contract Effect. I'm going to get Lamia. Uh, Lamia, bring that out. I go Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber, bring out Tuning. This, bring out Selene. Now, at this point, I don't go Selene Access Code. I could have Selene Access Code pop both sets. But I did not think of Strike. In my mind, I'm thinking, who the fuck plays Solemn Strike? I'm not even thinking of Solemn Strike. Not in the main deck. Then he hits me with Solemn Strike. Oh my, I'm like, who the fuck plays that card? That's actually so wild. If I Selene first, I'm an Access Code Talker. This was so much more likely an Imperm or a Droplets. It was so much more likely that it was Imperm or Droplets. So if you were to imprint or drop with a Selene, I did, wouldn't have cared. That's what I thought it was. Actually, unfortunate. So we go Access Code Talker, we pop the rest. We probably should have Access Code Talker first. That's going to cost us, dude. That's actually really, really going to cost us. I just would have assumed it was Strike. Anyways, uh, now after this, I'm just going to pop both of his cards on the field. And I'm going to attack him for 5,300 damage. And... At this point, Dueling Book is being Dueling Book. <laughs> dueling Book is being Dueling Book. And he's not going to let the rest of this video show. Dueling Book is being Dueling Book. What ends up happening in this rest of this match is he wins game one. I win game two. Game three, he hits me with Artifact Scythe. I have five cards in my hand. I set up a wall. And he OTKs me with like 500 extra damage. He hits 8,500 or something like that. And he won He won this one. But it was a great match. Now we're going to go on to the deck profile. All right, now for the deck profile. So if you look at this, like I told you guys, we had a 50 starters. Look at this. Like all these cards are starters. All of these cards. Harmo, Pencall, PB Raise Map, Kepler, Zephyr, Oracle of Zephyr, Zephyr Providence, Contract, Alliance, Emergence, Desires, Moye, Ecclesia. All these cards are starters. It's insane. There's so many starters. So, I'm going to go deep into this. And the reason you play 60 is because you want a mesh of all the cards. You don't want to open, like, five Zephyr cards. You don't want to open, like, five Sword Soul cards. If you were to open five Sword Soul cards, that's fine. You're just playing Sword Soul at that point. If you open five Zephyr cards, all right, you're playing Zephyr at that point. But the beauty of this deck is when your opponent is forced to stop your normal summon, forced to stop the Ecclesia effect, forced to stop the Lamia special summon, forced to stop Long Yuan, for all before the Pen summon. And then your opponent's supposed to stop... The Kepler. Then your opponent is supposed to stop the Pen Summon. Then your opponent is going to stop the Scales. The Desires. The Pen Call has an Ash. Like, there's so many cards that have to be interrupted or they're fucked. 
So what happens when you draw four of these 50 cards? What are you going to do? You can't stop them all. You can't stop them all. You really can't. And then you're going to settle for a harmonizing to resolve. And a harmonizing resolving is an OTK. Because a harmonizing resolving at the very end after your opponent negates everything, that's the be all end all. Because Harmo brings up Timebreaker. Timebreaker and Harmo go into Yazi. Yazi going to Taye. Pop an interruption going to Taye. Taye bring out Token, make Baxia. Baxia, get rid of the rest of the field. Like, like it just goes on forever. It really goes on forever. And typically, there's always a tuner that stays in the field at the very end. And that's where you go into Needle Viper Selene Axis Code. So the synergy of this deck's amazing. Last second, I added Time Star, Iron Tornado, and Zeus to really help push for OTKs and damage going second better. Going first has already put up in break unbreakable boards. And all the cards search low scale or high scale. P Ray's map searches low scale or high scale. You can search Harmo or you can search the DD God for a scale. Contract searches the low scale. Desires obviously searches both. Emergent searches like once you get uh Shisha, like Moye, Ecclesia, Taye. Once they go into Shisha, Shisha searches Emergence. Emergence searches Zephyr Nui or Zephraxi, uh, Pendulum, Worms. Like, it's really insane. It's really insane. Like, it really is how insane this deck is. The side deck, this is just what I believe is really cool because this deck does require a normal summon. And I understand you're playing a lot of, like Kepler, normal summon, all that, but Contract's not a normal summon. If you open Contract with Moye, uh, that's fine because contract just searches Lamia. The only normal summon is Kepler, and in the scenario where we, where you draw Kepler and Moye, it doesn't matter. You have Long Yuan, you have special summons, you have pen summons, so you just typically go for Kepler first. Kepler is going to be able to get you con uh, a low scale or an Appaloosa pre pen summon because you go Kepler, contract Lamia, Needle Fiber, Selene, Appaloosa, and then you pen summon the Moye and get its effect. All the Zephyrs are worms that trigger with all the Sword Souls. And that's the idea behind this deck. As far as the extra deck is concerned, all these cards are absolutely mandatory. All the synchros, they all come up. All of these synchros come up a lot. Uh, one Needle Viper, one Selena, one Appaloosa, one Axis Code all come up as well. Appaloosa is the one that comes up the least, but still comes up. Time Star comes up a lot because of Switch of Souls, which is insane in this deck with all the extra contracts and Oracle and Zephyrus that you have. And then I believe that going second, having access to Tornado Dragon and Zeus is insane, in my opinion really want to i guess you could add a dweller but having the ability to go zeus going second is just wild that's it for the video hope you guys enjoy it i was going to show you guys combo tutorials but this video is already going extremely long but fuck it i'll show some combo tutorials anyways all right boys so for the combo tutorial we are going to go very fast here okay so you guys know how the deck works already but what you guys want to see and witness is the priority of orders and how we're activating these cards so because we have duelist alliance and pen call we know that pen call lamia is gonna is gonna get us free value absolutely free value because we get the free ads here via pen call and discard a lamia at this point we're gonna special lamia and we're gonna set up an appaloosa asap we're gonna go needle fiber selene appaloosa selene special tuning appaloosa now that we have an appaloosa we're protected we're protected through nibiru we're gonna go oaf we're going to pen summon uh, we're gonna get these out. It doesn't really matter what we get here. We're gonna use the effect revealing the Zephyr Nui. We're gonna say there's a Zephyr Nui in hand for that. We're gonna do a very cool play where we go Baron, Pop, Yazi. Of course, every hand is gonna be different, but they're all relatively the same. And I just wanna show you how toolboxy this deck is, and that it doesn't matter what hand you have, you always get there. Like, you basically search out Taiye, Moye every single turn. Because Baron's gonna pop Yazi, Yazi's effect will trigger bringing out Taiye, and you, just, you go off. Like, this is insane. You get a free draw here from Shishao, you get a free emergence. This is where we're going to be able to get Protos. And look how many cards. We have five cards in hand, bro. Like, this is this is insane. We're going to bring Pro, uh, bring that out. Bring Protos out. We have Divine Strike. If we really want to, we could set up a Mascarena by getting rid of Taiye and probably the Shishao. But this is perfectly fine. We got Appaloosa, Baron, Divine Strike, Shishao, and we call Protos for Darks. So that's absolutely insane. Crazy follow-up. Three cards in hand. Four after we draw. Absolutely wild. This is another one where we're going to... Like, every hand really is the same. Like, that's the beauty of it. This one, you even hard draw Divine Strike, which you don't really want to open, obviously. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The, this deck's very playable with one to two cards. And we go Sword Soul, uh, Moye, Reveal Taiye, bring out Shishao. Effect had everything. We drew a useless card with Kiri Raise Map because you do it at the beginning of your turn. Doesn't matter. Contract switches low scale. Every hand does the exact same thing. That's what's beautiful about this deck. Taiye, Moye... Uh, bring these two into so now there's a lot of thinking. We're gonna go emergence first, bring up Protos, 
And what I decided to do is bring, make Baxia with those because I have to. I want to flood the graveyard more for Protoss. Then I'm gonna go Baxia Fact to bring uh, bring out Moye. I'm gonna make uh, Mascarena with the two of them. Protoss banish the three from the graveyard because we have to set up the graveyard a little bit. And then we still set up Protoss with Mascarena, Shisha, Divine Strike, full setup. Like this deck's just absolutely insane. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Also, make sure to go to TrivGaming.com. Check out the beautiful playmats on TrivGaming.com. I honestly think this deck is the best Pendulum deck I've played in a very long time. Something about it, it's just so broken. Uh, so many lines of play. It makes me really happy. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, don't forget to try this deck for yourselves because it's insane. See you guys in the next video. Peace.